Good morning, this is Gabriel Jackton, and welcome to BJC Allah Day number 1458. Allah that keeps the eights our way, dedicated to our holy ID of soldiers and the hostages. May they be released speedily on day, safe and sound. May Hashem really protect our Jewish people in Israel and across the world. Okay, we are finishing with the laws of Maftir. Another chapter checked off. Here we go. The Haftorah reading with its accompanying blessings was not instituted to be recited unless it is after the Torah was read with the recitation of the blessings by the appropriate number of people who are to be called up to the Torah. However, if an invalidation was found in the Sefer Torah on an ordinary Shabbos, even during the seventh Aliyah, and there was no other Sefer Torah available, from which to read the rest of the Torah portion, and therefore the last one who was called to the Torah did not recite a closing blessing on the Torah reading, right? Every time you get called up, you get two blessings, one before the reading and one after the reading. Likewise, on a day when the Maftir is an obligatory passage assigned to the day, i.e. the Maftir is not simply a rereading of the previous verses, but a separate Torah reading, usually from another Sefer Torah, but sometimes not, sometimes you just roll it, then even if the invalidation is found while reading the Maftir, and there was no other Torah scroll with which to continue, in which case the Maftir does not recite a closing blessing upon his Aliyah, then the blessings of the Haftorah are not recited. Got that? So in other words, if there's an invalidation before the seventh Aliyah is completed, or... Uh, before the maftir is completed, when the maftir is an obligatory maftir, not just a repetition, then we don't say the blessings for the Torah. Why not? Instead, the Torah is recited without its accompanying blessings, since the minimum number of required aliyahs has not been met. However, an, on an ordinary Shabbos, if after seven people were already called up and they recited the proper blessings, an invalidation was found, whether during the aliyahs of those who were called up for the aliyahs that were added after the seven, or during the reading of the maftir, in that case, the rereading of the maftir, it appears that the haftarah should be read with a recitation of the accompanying blessings. Okay, got that? So if you happen to be, you had seven aliyahs, but then you started adding an extra, we talked about you can add an eighth aliyah on Shabbos, right? So at that point, then if you found a mistake, you can still say the blessings of the Torah. But if not, I'm sure out of respect for the Torah, we don't want to say, oh, with the Torah we didn't say a blessing, but for the Haftorah we will. So therefore, we also did not say blessings for the Torah if, as we mentioned, seven aliyahs weren't already read or the maftir was a maftir of an oblig obligatory maftir. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy this halacha, Sponsor one, $36,100 for the gold, or be part of our high club, and we'll see you tomorrow.